Hey there, people. Well, we're here walking the dogs at uh, Dawson Park. Check out how brown the water is compared to last time we were here. It was green. Now it's shit brown. Shit brown, shall we? Yeah, man. Okay, let's do this. We just avoided something. Uh, there was a rabbit in the trail. Cash loves to chase rabbits. And this was in the middle of the trail. A loaf of bread. I know, rumors are people poison food and leave it on the trails out here, but I took it off from the trail and put it up in the tree. If it's for the birds, then the birds can get it up there. Yeah. There appears to be a little camp in here. Hello? Hello. Hey, just make sure you're okay. I was right in their backyard. Yeah. I didn't know anybody was home. The things we see in these trails, like you gotta wonder why. That's the mess from last time. So they're gonna come. Yuck. New spot. Steep spot. You going down there? Oh boy. No, Cash, come on. I don't think I'm going down there. Cash, come. Come on. Get up here. You stay up here. Wow. Well, is it ever high? Yeah, the water's super high. That's good, though, but... Yeah. Bad in yeah, we found a new trail. It's pretty cool. No bikes on this little path. We're just trying to get close to the water where we can throw a stick or two. Look at Shelly with the slayer in the back. What's in the front? Cheech and Chong in the front, and the old finger hat. Yeah. Yeah. So don't mess I'm with all that set chick. For my walk. Don't mess with her. Look at there's a duck. A duck. Hey. Can you fuck like a duck when you suck? Oh, I know how no, Can you quack like a duck when you suck? <laughs> oh no. Get it, Cash. Come here, Riley. He's on the other side there. He's not a Riley. Out of the water? Can he get out of the water? Yeah. Can he get up here? Yeah. What you doing, buddy? You so we careful. might. Oh, see, now he's spooked. Because he's stepping on those sticks. Come on, Cash. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? He's looking for another way out. Too many sticks in the water there. What? <laughs> Powerhouse he is. Well, anyway, uh, this trail might bring us right back to the truck. We're gonna investigate. Well, that's a big claw mark. It's probably the Sasquatch. Yeah. The Edmonton Sasquatch. No. You can do it. Yeah, no? you're, you're pretty smart there, Cash. Just sit your ass right there. Is that a rubber ducky? Get the ball. Get the ball, Cash. No. <laughs> Don't. Stick here with me. Hey, Cash. Uh oh. Cash. <laughs> Did you get that on video? Yeah. Good. Ah. <laughs> here, Riley. Riley's going to attempt it. For Cash, that's no problem, eh? Riley, come here. You're a psycho. Every time he sees a boat, I swear he's thinking of John John. That's what he was doing, eh? he was trying to help, trying to get the stick off there. Yep. The jet skier got Cash's stick. Where's he going with it though? <laughs> you give up buddy, get it! The current's going into that sewer thing. Come on, be strong, you can do it. Bring it! It's 
it's looking a bit like rain. We might get pissed on. Well, we managed to uh, escape the rain. It's uh, drizzling just a little bit right now, but we're at the truck, so it's all good. That was a good walk, that one. We made it back home. My laundry is getting wet. I work so hard at hanging this stuff. Hey. The metal laundry poles. The metal laundry. A little bit of metal in there. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're inside where it's nice and warm. We're getting dried off. Um, I'm just putting together a little supper, dinner, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, let me show you what I'm cooking. It's not an episode of cooking with the cooker, even though I'm catching a slight buzz, but this is what I'm cooking. Turn the light on. Yeah, just uh, baking some chicken breasts. So yeah, we've been trying to eat a little more healthy lately. Um, like five days a week, we eat this kind of salad. Like we mix it up, cut up a little cheese, throw it in the salad. Put some of that in there. And on the weekend, that's pretty much done. And on, on the weekend, we allow ourselves a, a good old fashioned steak, or this weekend coming up, it's gonna be something with bacon for sure. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wash this, chop it all up, throw it all together, add some La Jardinière. Where are you, La Jardinière? There you are. Best stuff ever. Anyway, I gotta cut up this lettuce, but. The worst thing you can do is cut it with a knife. You gotta, you gotta rip this shit by hand. Cause I'm not planning on using the whole, the whole head. Eh? Cause if you cut it with a knife, it rusts out and just goes bad. So you want to peel all that shit off. Just whatever you need to use, and throw it in the fridge, and you're good for a bit. So I almost used up about half of it. This thing's gonna last for a couple days anyway. I'm gonna throw it in this uh, plastic bag and put it in the crisper in the fridge, and it should be good for two, three days. And as far as the peppers and the uh, radishes and that, we just leave them loose in the drawer. I find they last a lot longer if they're loose. Maybe I should do the same with salad, but anyway, we're going through salad like mad, so it doesn't matter, two, three days or whatever. Well, the carrot part, well, that's uh, Cassius and Riley's favorites. I'll chop them up and we'll give them a piece. Like that, hey buddy. Riley, where are you? Oh, there you go. No, sit. Sit. Good boy. There you go. Little shredding. Let me give the dogs the end pieces after we get the ends off. Quita! Riley, sit. Sit. Cash. Good boys. That's the good boys. They love the carrots. Gotta love radish. Just love it. Bell peppers are all cut up. I took away most of the seeds. Um, I mean, it's okay to have a few seeds in your system, but if you get too many, then you're gonna end up growing like baby bell peppers in your stomach. No? I don't know. Don't want to risk it. Impregnation by bell peppers. Wouldn't that be something? Need some more Slayer. Computer's <coughs> taking a bit of a break, I think. What shall we listen to? Oh, yeah. Crank her up. Hiding. Yeah, 
slice up a bit of this English cucumber. Put some fort, craft fort. Just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, just a little bit of cheese. You don't want to overdo it. It's not the best thing for you, I don't think. Hey, probably when you're trying to eat just salad. I don't know. Tastes good in there, I'll tell you that. Well, there we go. There's the salad. I'm just going to toss it around. Oh, hold on. Now we just got to add a little jardinière. Lots of jardinière. I'm going to stir this up. The salad looks so good, I forgot about the, the meat. Oh, and I fried up a couple of garlics. So I'm going to save the other one for tomorrow night. I'm going to have another salad because that's what we do. Okay, I'll cut this up, throw it in the salad, and it should be good to go. Well, there's the chicken all cut up. Um, I forgot to mention what I put on the chicken. I had cut like slits into the chicken breasts and I put uh, uh, pepper, garlic, powder, and now I'm just going to add a bit of my favorite. Love that stuff. Just a little bit. We'll stir all that in and toss it into the thing. And, whoa! Well, there it is. Here's the kicker. You don't need any salad dressing at all. This is so like tasty, you wouldn't not believe it. You wouldn't not. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to eat a little bit healthier. Like it's uh I feel a lot better actually. But I can't wait till bacon weekend. That's gonna rock. Anyway, people, uh big big thanks. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Cheers. And we'll talk to you guys later.